Hello, the internet, Donna here. This is the second time I'm making this video because I forgot to turn on my microphone the first time around. Okay, so aside from my derpiness there, I wanted to revisit um, a subject that I covered quite a long time ago. Um, since I've had my dentures for 10 months now, I feel like I have some more personal insight to this rather than depending on articles that I read on the web. So here are four reasons why your dentures hurt. The first reason your dentures hurt is that you have fresh extractions and you've placed immediate dentures over them. That If that's not you, then hang on, I'll, I'll get to you later in the video. But that's the very first reason why your dentures could hurt. Um, you have fresh extraction sites, lots of swelling, and open wounds that your denture is sitting up over and holding in. So it's it's like it's squeezing on those tissues when those tissues want to puff out. And that hurts. And open wounds hurt. So my very best suggestion for this particular issue is to eat lots of icy things, or ice even. Um, popsicles were my very best friend the first few days after my extractions. Uh, do that. Stay ahead of the pain by staying on top of your pain medication. If you weren't prescribed a pain medication, uh, ibuprofen will work wonders for you to reduce inflammation. So take that as directed on the package. As far as the open wounds go, you can treat those by when you rinse, rinse very gently with warm salt water or use um, a mouthwash such as Orogel, uh, rinse for for all mouth sores, I think it's called. Um, and there's another one that has that plus pain um, that will help a bunch it, during the first few days after your extractions and your first few days in immediate dentures. The second reason your dentures hurt is because gum disease. Ew. Even though you don't have teeth anymore, you are still susceptible to gum disease if you don't take care of the inside of your mouth. Um, so it's very important that if you develop this problem, you have it treated by a professional and you take better care of the inside of your mouth. Because, I mean, let's face it, some of us are in this boat in the first place because we didn't take care of the inside of our mouths, right? So when you take your dentures out, clean them and clean the inside of your face out. But, you know, get some Dr. Berlin's uh, clean a dent paste or you know, that's pretty much the only thing you can use that's appropriate for dentures as well. Uh, I was going to say fresh and bright, but fresh and bright is for dentures only. You can't brush your mouth out with that. Um, yeah, get some Dr. Berlin's clean a dent paste and that's available at drbdentalsolutions.com. Link will be in the description. Put a pea size amount on your toothbrush or cleaning implement of choice and go to town. Just brush, brush, brush inside of your cheeks, the gums, inside the ridge, outside the ridge, your tongue, the roof of your mouth, anywhere where food bits can get and bacteria can hide, you need to clean that out. Also using a mouthwash is um, a good way to lower the bacteria load inside your face. And cleaning and disinfecting your dentures periodically will also help to reduce your risk of gum disease and infection from bacteria and things like uh, can er, the candida albicans, which is thrush. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, soak your damn dentures. When you soak your dentures, you can use products like um, Polydent or Effordent, uh, tablets, fresh and bright, uh, no, it's not fresh and bright. Stain away, uh, crystals, Dr. Berlin's uh, clean dent liquid crystals. Um, you can soak your dentures for the time recommended on the package. Uh, and if overnight is okay according to the package, then soak them overnight to disinfect them. Uh, clean them when you take them out of your face and clean them before you put them back in. That's another way that you can be sure that you're keeping your bacteria load in your dentures to a minimum and helping to protect yourself from gum disease. The third reason your dentures hurt, you're grinding your teeth. Now that you have some teeth, you are back to old habits of grinding them when you're not thinking about it. Maybe you have TMJ and it's just a habit for you. Um, maybe it's in reaction to anxiety or what 
whatever the reason, stop grinding your teeth. Um, your gums are not made to handle constant loads of pressure like what you put on your teeth when you eat and chew and when you grind your teeth. So your gums get tired and they can get sore if you expose them to too much of those pressure loads. If you can, reduce the amount of time that you're putting force on your gums from your dentures. Put your tongue between your teeth. Make a conscious effort to do that at first and eventually it becomes habit. Um, that's something that I had to learn how to do when I had my natural teeth because grinding them like I was was helping to destroy them faster than they would have just gone away on their own. Now, the last reason and probably the, the most likely culprit for your dentures hurting is that they don't fit properly. It's important that your dentures fit you correctly. So if your dentures are too loose, too tight, um, or anywhere in between that's not good, perfect fit, they can move around, they can rub sore spots and make calluses or even um, lacerations on your tissues. So if you're not able to get to the dentist for an adjustment, you have this kind of thing going on, you can use adhesive to hold them into place. Uh, good adhesives that I've used include Dr. Berlin's uh, Adhesident Paste, um, Super Polygrip Powder, Fixident Extra Hold Powder, and Secure Strips and uh, Secure Adhesive Paste. Um, especially when I had my immediate dentures, the Secure Adhesive Paste and the Fixident and the Polygrip Powders were my very best friends. I had to use so much glue to keep my uppers in before I got my J.O.'s dentures that it was borderline stupid. It really was. What I would do is I would take and put one, whoa, I would take and put a layer of powder down and then take and put um, secure adhesive over that and then put another layer of powder over top of the secure adhesive and put all of that inside of my face and that would hold my dentures for four or five hours uh, as opposed to the maybe an hour that I was getting out of uh, Fixident paste. I didn't have very much luck with that or the C-Bond strips. That's not to say that they're bad and they're gonna be bad for you, but they just, they didn't work for me. Another thing that you can do is install a soft read line. I know that sounds, whoa. I know that sounds hella complicated and like you, you should leave it to a professional install a soft reline, but there are several soft reline options that you have available to you if you can't get to the dentist to have them do one. Uh, you could go to your local drugstore or your local big box department store like Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, one of those, and pick up a kit. It comes in a teal colored box. It's called Reline It. Uh, normally it costs between $5 and $8 depending on where you buy it from. And uh, it has some really easy to follow instructions. It, it doesn't last for very long, you know, a couple of weeks in my experience. And it tastes like a nail salon vomited in your mouth. It just reeks and smacks of acrylic. Um, but that's easily solved by soaking your denture with the Reline It in baking soda water for 10 minutes or so, or even overnight if it makes you feel better. And that you will usually get rid of the taste that's in there. You could also use uh, ProSoft. ProSoft is a similar product to the Reline It, but it's most akin to what they use in the dentist office. Um, a lot of dentist offices actually use ProSoft. Uh, it's another soft Reline kit where you mix the powder with a monomer and you get something that tastes funky, but soaking it in baking soda water will get rid of the funky taste and that lasts longer. I've had my ProSoft in my backup set of dentures for four months now and it's not even starting to peel up. And ProSoft, I wanna say was either $14.95 or $24.95, I can't remember, but I'll put a link 
to all the things in the description box, uh, along with the prices when I, when I find them. I know I bought it from Amazon.com. If mixing powder and liquid together and coming up with a sticky gooey mess is not your cup of tea, you might wanna go after a product called DentureFit. DentureFit is the same dental silicone that the dentists use when they uh, take impressions and uh, do relines in your in your denture. Some offices use that silicone and some don't. It has no taste, no smell. It's easy to apply and it lasts for a while. Um, in my experience, because I used it with immediate dentures instead of my intermediates or my uh, permanence, like what's recommended, since I used it in my immediate denture, I had it lasted a month and I had to peel it out to go back to the dentist and have um, a, a professional soft reline done. Um, I'm sure that DentureFit will probably last longer than that. It is a little pricey, priced at $50 for one kit, which includes two tubes of silicone, two applicator swabs, one vial of primer and a lovely full color printed instruction booklet with and it is so easy to use it is ridiculous um but you can get that at uh, denturefit.com and again i'll put links and pricing once i get it all rounded up in the box below the very best way to make sure that you have a proper fit on your denture though is to address your issues with how the denture fits with your dentist or denturist. They're going to be the most effective at solving your fit woes with your denture. So there you have it. Four reasons why your dentures hurt based on my own experience instead of articles that I read on the internet. <laughs> I hope that this has answered questions for some of you. Uh, if you have other questions, please put them in the comment uh, section and I will get around to them just as soon as I can. Uh, visit the links in the description box to see all of the products discussed here. And uh, I was not paid by any company to mention their products. I just mentioned them because I used them and I have experience to share. That's going to be it for today. Until next time when I have a fresh new video for you, be good to each other, keep smiling, and keep being awesome.